Hello, 231 students. Welcome back, such as it is. Um, first of all, uh, I hope that you and your family and friends are all well. Um, certainly, this is not an ideal situation. Uh, those of you who were around for Florence, uh, this is the second big disruption in your education, so congratulations for your two for two um, for global disasters. I, congratulations. Um, this is certainly not ideal. Uh, you didn't sign up for a remote instruction and I didn't sign up to deliver it. Um, the best learning takes place when we can talk to one another and that's certainly very hard online. And uh, it often feels forced, I think, if you try and pretend that everything is working as usual, um, just remotely. Uh, that's not going to work in these situations. Uh, a lot of you are in tough circumstances. You're going to be at home with noisy roommates, or maybe you're back in your family home and there's not really a private space for you. Uh, me personally, um, this is probably the last time I'm going to be recording from my office. We're getting kicked out of here on Tuesday. And my office is going to be my garage. So you'll get to see all the spider corpses and other wonderful things there. Um, since I have a seven-month-old and a three-year-old at home, and they won't leave me alone. So not the most ideal of circumstances for anybody. Um, that said, we're going to do our best. Uh, 231 is a critical course for all of you. Um, if you're a computer science major, a DA major, minor in computer science, you got to have this course. And it is a four-credit course, and it's on the critical path for you to kind of not only graduate, but just progress through your degrees. So um, we're going to do our best, and it'll be a challenge. And the challenge is mostly going to fall upon you as the students. Um, the main thing, the one thing that I think will be the key to your success in this course is to maintain some discipline in keeping up with the course. If you start getting behind, it's going to be really hard to catch up. And you've experienced this already, like in the class itself when we were still meeting. If you get behind, it is hard to catch up. We were only meeting twice a week. Um, there was a lot of content in each lecture. Um, so that said, uh, you have to maintain that discipline that we had, uh, that you had going in person. And if you remember, kind of way back at the beginning of the course, I posted this slide that kind of laid out what your schedule for the week would look like in this course, where Mondays you're kind of doing the reading, Tuesday you come to class and you start on the homework, Wednesday is office hours and kind of keep working on the homework, Thursday another lecture, Friday more work, Saturday homework, Sunday homework is due. We're basically going to continue to follow that model. Um, what I expect to do though is maybe I will have less for you to do than I would normally in a semester. Okay, But what I'm not going to do is accept a drop in the quality of the work that I expect you to do. So I'm going to ask you to do less, but I'm still going to ask you to do it well. And that's going to determine what A's and B's and C's and D's and F's are in this class. Okay, so um, And the reason I'm lowering the expectations in terms of amount of content is just I know it's going to be tough for you uh, just like it's going to be tough for me so that said I'm going to be very lenient right uh, if you're in a bind completing the work the homework assignments you're still going to have one about one a week um, or staying current with the coursework please let me know as soon as you can uh, I can work with you but if you are out of contact for three weeks and you're way behind and you're like, Dr. Lehman, I, I, I don't know what to do, um, then it's going to be too late. So if you're, if you're stuck, uh, if you're in a tough position, let me know as soon as possible. Okay, and we'll, we'll work together to kind of figure the best way forward. All right, so that said, uh, what should you do? The first thing you need to do is you need to go to Canvas and make sure that your notifications are turned on for receiving announcements. That's the first thing. I've posted an announcement about that and sent you an email. So make sure you've done that. Please be monitoring your UNCW email. Uh, all the really important communications are going to come through those two venues, Canvas announcements and UNCW email. Um, I'll be 
my plan is to drop some content each week, maybe twice a week, just depending on how quickly I can get it prepared. You need to complete the module within the week as much as possible. Okay? Uh, oh, sorry, the second thing I really need you to do, go to Canvas, read the top of the syllabus. It tells you how the instructions have changed for this course, how grades will change, and how I want you to communicate with me. Okay. Um, so even though we're not meeting in person, and, and it kills me because, you know, the stuff that we do in class, whether it's me talking to you, us doing code together, you interacting with your neighbor, those little worksheets, all that stuff is just critical to this class. And I'm going to try and we're still going to do those activities. Um, and it is important that you do them, that you follow along. So please, please try, try your best. Um, so I am available to you. Even though I'm not there, I'm here, okay? I'm always gonna be on my email. I'm always gonna be uh, checking my Canvas inbox. So I'm here. Uh, and if you have a question, you just reach out to me. I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can, at least within 24 hours, but I'm, I'm gonna be working the whole time. So I'm gonna be at my desk. You can expect a response. And if it's better for us to chat, uh, face-to-face -face or virtually. Um, we can fire up a Zoom meeting, we can share screens, we can debug code together. Uh, maybe you just want a text chat in real time. We can get a Slack account going, we can do Discord, doesn't matter to me. Uh, I'm here, get in touch with me if you need help, um, and we'll figure out the right way to do it synchronously in real time. The other main communication uh, thing that we want to use as a class is the discussion board. If you have a question, don't be shy. Just ask online. Everybody's a cat on the internet. Uh, nobody cares. If you have a question, I guarantee you other people in the class have a question. Please post it on the discussion board. I'll respond to it, or your TA will respond to it, to it just as soon as we can. Okay. So I want you to know I'm here for you. We're going to get through this together. You're still going to have to work for this class. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I'm here to help. So you let me know how I can best help you. And short of just waving my hands and giving everyone a B, I will do it. Okay. So I wish you all the best. Please stay safe. Uh, do your part. Do your best to help curve this epidemic. It's going to take all of us doing a little something. I know times are tough. I know times aren't ideal. But we'll get through this. You'll be successful if you put in the work. And we'll get you on to the next semester and closer to your goals. All right, I want you to take care and have a good rest of your day.